Scully on. Got the all feet, man. We got the Justin Timberlake. What's poppin' on the new boyfriend? Right? He's back in the building. Yo, hold up, hold up, hold up, man. I had to re record this. How? What's poppin' homies? Your boyfriend is back in the building. I'm in the sneaker office. And today, we're gonna talk about the Air Jordan 4s, bro. The Air Jordan 4 is one of my favorite soloists, at least top five. And I'm gonna show you guys what's in my collection. I did the ones, I did the threes. Three plus one is four. So that's what we about to do. Let's get into it. Now, this ain't in no particular order. Yes, it is. I lied. It is in a particular order. I'm going from the oldest pickup to the most recent pickups. And I'm gonna disclose the price. And when I purchase it, if I can remember details of that pickup, I will include it in this video. Without further ado, let's get into these shoes, man. First up, we're gonna talk about my first raffle or technically not raffle. Here's a quick story. These shoes came out February the 13th, 2016 for $225. These are the white cement fours. Now, I originally went to get this shoe for the raffle or fill out the raffle roughly on a Wednesday, I believe. Whatever day it was, apparently I was too late. The raffle came and went and I pulled up to the building too late. The guy's like, nah, sorry, manager that is. But he's like, look, I know you're late, but if this extra appears, give me your number, I will give you a call. Salute to him, because he fulfilled his promise. He hit me up, but I was sleeping. <laughs> you already know, these shoes dropped as 10. I think he called me at 12. If I wasn't sleeping, I was busy. I missed the call. I checked my voicemail, and I was like, what? Say a word, man. I dart off to finish line, and um, they still have my pair, and I was able to obtain it, man. So that's how I got these Air Jordan 4s, white cement. Did not win them on the raffle which is no longer a thing. You actually had to do these, these apps. At the time, Finish Line's still doing handwritten raffles. You go and fill out this raffle tag or ticket, and if you win, they'll get you a call. So, appreciate it, Finish Line. Thank you for looking out. That was my first pickup, and also my first Air Jordan 4 when I started doing this whole YouTube thing. Next up, these are the Dunk From Aboves, man. These are highly slept on. The quality on these shoes is phenomenal. And these came out March 19, 2016, literally a month after those white cements dropped. Now, I did cop this shoe, not retail, or how do I say it? Not release day, but months after, because they went on sale, no one wanted it. At the time, I had someone in Washington send me this shoe, and I was like, yo, at the price I got them for, send them to me. I waited, and I copped them. Have not rocked them yet. They're still DS, man, with the gum bottom out, so you gotta love these shoes. I have seen them in the outlets, and they were roughly going for around 140, 150. I think I paid 130 for my pair, but this is a highly slept on shoe. I don't know how people don't like this for, man. It's very, very, very dope as far as colorway and material used to produce this shoe. Now, the third four in my collection then come until like a year and some change later, man. These are the Mulder Motorsports. Yeah, Motorsports, alternate, alternate Motorsports. These joints came out June 17th, 2017 for $190, man. Did I pay that price? I don't think I did. I think I copped these below retail. Matter of fact, I remember now. A homie looked out and ordered me these shoes for a great, great price, man. I couldn't turn it down. Copped these way below retail for $137. These are the uh, Motor Sports Alternates. I like that black and raw blue colorway. That royal blue is like one of my favorite colorways on clothing, man, especially shoes. Um, if I could get a royal blue card, that'd be dope too as well, or midnight blue, essentially. But anyways, let's wheel it back in. Mode Sports Alternate, pay 130. These shoes came out in 2017 for a buck 90. I didn't pay that. But moving on. Fourth shoe on the list are these black laser gum bottom fours, man. These shoes came out January 19, 2018 for $190. I did not pay that price. These shoes went on sale after sale after sale for dirt, dirt cheap price. I even saw them on finish line, if I'm not mistaken, uh, with, along with a handful of other shoes for like $100 and below. I definitely pay dirt cheap price for my pair. I um, have not rocked them yet. There are DS. Matter of fact, now that I think of it, were these shoes $190? or 200. Y'all comment down below and let me know. Yo, the next shoe was a crazy pickup, man. These are no other than the Travis Scott 4s, man. Cop these and the Nike outlet. Clearance store to be exact. They had abundance and abundance of pairs, man. Crazy story, if I remember, I'll go ahead and link it right here. Because 
The line was so crazy, I left, came back an hour and a half later, and I still was able to cop a pair of Travis Scott 4s. Now, these shoes retail for $225. The outlet still had them for $225, unless you had a discount. I think you had the MVP card roughly around that time for $25 or $50, which you could have used on top of that. So you could have walked out the building with a pair of Travis Scott for below the retail price. That wasn't the case for me. I had to pay full retail gang, but I'm not upset. There was only size 11, man, but later on, I was able to change that for my actual size, my true size, size 12. I took my pair to uh, Kicks Are For Us, and I paid a little upgrade fee, roughly around, actually, I'm not gonna disclose it, because the homie hooked me up, but, you know, I paid still a reasonable price just to get a size 12 in my collection. Still have them, still DS, um, one of my craziest pickups ever in a Nike outlet. These shoes are the Black Levi's 4s, man. They came out June 30th, 2018. Another sort after shoe I wanted for the collection, being a 4. I'm an avid Levi's wear. I wear tons of Levi's jeans, 502 preferably, the old school 522s, and a plethora of other um, styles, man, and cuts. But when I saw this shoe coming out, I was like, yo, I have to have it. They did come out with a counterpart in all white, I had no uh, luck with that. Actually, I had no luck with the whole release. I struck out on Nike, I struck at the trophy room. I had to resort to the aftermarket resale prices, which is the most notably StockX. StockX, I was able to pay a little above retail when it was all said and done, but including shipping and handling, I think I've walked out paying $275. Not bad for a shoe that released for $225 or $250. I forget the moment. Y'all can go and fact check me on that but I have them in the collection. Rocked them probably twice. One of my favorite fours in the collection. Oh, y'all remember these joints, man. These are the Raptor fours. They came out August 18, 2018, a day after my birthday for 100, I lied. No, it was $200, man. Nike was tripping. They charged us $200 for this shoe. I pay that. I remember copping this day one, and I think I drove to Gainesville. When I was living in Ocala, Gainesville is roughly 45 minutes away. And I think I purchased them at House of Hoops. Purchase them day one, pay retail, gang for them, still have them to this day. This shoe had a lot of questions behind it, man. Y'all remember when Drake was leaving uh, Jordan brand? He was like, yo, I'm done, I'm leaving. And they kind of pulled the shoes off, <laughs> off the release calendar and uh, have people change the actual tongue tag. You already know how that go. And then he went back to Jordan brand and they kind of put the shoe or the OVO branding back on the tongue. I got the, I guess the alternate release, not the original release of the OVO. And the owl, I don't know, I forget what actually is on the tongue, but nevertheless, man, Drake is back with Jordan Brand. I got the shoe for $200, and uh, I rocked it a handful of times, too. Um, I like it. I like the suede. I like the purple. I don't have much purple in any Jordans in my collection, so this was a must-have for me. All right, let's fast forward to next year. Uh, what is it? May 4th, 2019. Everyone wanted this shoe, man. It was highly anticipated, and these are the breads. And these hit for $200, man. Got my size, size 12, and also got a homie up here, which is a size 11 and a half. Theoretically, it should have been two 12s. I actually won on two locations, Foot Action and Foot Locker. Pick up my original pair from Foot Locker, and I had another pair sitting at Foot Action. But the homie wanted it, so I was like, y'all go back and get it. So I was coming through, it was a little bit after three, so I, you know, no fault to them. I actually was trying to pick up a shoe after the three o'clock where people, you know, the wait listed people can go and grab a pair. So I was like, yo, there's a size 12. When I pulled up, there's like, yo, somebody bought it, man. So I had a re result to the size 11 and a half. Well, anyways, I got it for the homie. He's like, yo, I actually need a shoe 12. So I had that shoe sitting for a good, good minute, man. I think I actually got rid of it at the beginning of this year. There's no need for having two pairs of these breads, especially this one. I haven't rocked this one yet. So why even have a smaller size 11 and a half sitting around? Got rid of that shoe, but still have my original size 12 left, man. Still DS. Not sure when I'm rocket. Nike on the back. That is a must have for all Jordan 4 collectives. Another highly anticipated shoe, man. The Cool Gray 4s. This shoe released August 1st, 2019, a few months after the Breads. This was another shoe that haven't came out in such a long time. I can't remember when this shoe actually came out. Originally, the original uh, release. I like that Maze Jumpman and Flight on the tongue. I like the silver Jumpman in the back heel of the shoe and also the Air Jordan tag behind the tongue and on the outsole you also got that maze color man get a little bit different man this, this this color is dope i like the gray and that haze does make the shoe pop this shoe retail for 190 dollars cop the day one probably had a coupon i can't remember all i remember is i rocked it a few times that's the truth and i got a dope hoodie to go with it 
that's a fact. What is up next is called the what the. That is actually the last pair of Air Jordan 4s I picked up and I copped that shoe. November 23rd, 2019. Copped it below retail day one. Salute to the homie who looked out and hooked me up with the shoe for $140, man. Happy to have it. The shoe makeup are composed of multiple Air Jordan 4s that came out in the past. Fire Res, the True Blues, the Cement, you name it, is a few shoes in there, like four different colorways of shoes, man. And I happy to have it. I'm definitely gonna rock this shoe. Have not rocked it yet. I'm patiently waiting, man. Just, this is not a shoe you can just go out there and dance in, man. You gotta actually come with it, man. You gotta have the whole ensemble. Not head to feet, but you know what I'm saying? You gotta kinda do it justice. So that's why I haven't rocked it yet. It reminds me of the top threes, but this is actually a top four of the Air Jordan 4, man. And I think that's it. I talked about 10 different shoes, man. The Travis Scott's, bro. The Bread 4s, the Cool Gray 4s, man. The Raptor 4s or the Drake OVO 4s. I don't know what y'all wanna call them, bro. I, I really don't. The Levi's 4s, so much 4s in the collection. I have rocked a handful of them. Fours are one of my top five silhouettes. Clearly the Jordan 1 is, so different strokes for different folks. I'm not sure if you guys are four lovers, but someone asked me to do this video, so I was definitely, definitely encouraged to, and I actually did, and I prevailed. Here you go. Hope you guys like it, man. Other than that, thank you guys for pulling up. Let me do some homework real quick. I've been shooting a podcast or working on the podcast or podcast in the works, or I shot a pilot this past Saturday. If you guys want to watch it, I'll click it here. If I can remember to link it in the overlay towards the end of the video, I'll do so. So I'm pretty much going to be doing this every Saturday. If you're a YouTuber, you create sneaker content and you like to be on the channel to converse with my panel, let's do that, man. Reach out to me. You can hit me up on my outletplug.com. Also go to there if you're looking to find. Actually, I might have a few pairs of shoes, maybe one. I know for a fact it's going to be an outletplug.com from this collection. But throwing that out there, you can hit me up on that website as well. If you're a shoe YouTuber, you want to be on the panel, or you're an up-and-coming shoe YouTuber, you want to be on the panel, or you just do videos in general on YouTube and you have an interest in sneakers, feel free to hit your boy up. I will be selecting people from requests, and then I also got people or a lineup of people who I would like to have on the show. But that's it. I just want to share that love with you, let you guys know what I'm doing, what I'm working on, and I'm going to see if I can keep hitting you guys in the heads with different type of videos. If you can come up with any other concepts, you know, I already shot a Jordan 1 collection, I already shot the Jordan 3 collection, now I shot the 4. If you want to have a different variations of collection videos you'd like to see, reach out to me, man. Let me know. Leave it in the comments down below. That said, if you like it, hit that like, hit that subscribe, hit that notification bell as well. Everyone, collectively, everyone that watches this video pass through, take your time, hit the thumbs up and read the comments. Go ahead and leave a comment down below so your boy get back to you as soon as possible. Until then, until we meet again, you already know my slogan. Good to go. It's a wrap. <laughs>